Okay, whenever I run my class, I run the method public static void main string square bracket r. So I'll draw a stack frame to keep track of my local variables. And I'll write the name of the method on the side. Okay, my first line of code says int square brackets a r r a gets, and there's a new array there that has three elements in it. So the left hand side creates a variable name uh, a r r a. That's going to be a variable that can hold a reference to an array. Then the right hand side, that creates my three element array. And then that assignment statement, that's going to assign a r r a to reference or keep track of that newly created array. Okay, my second line says int square bracket a r r b equals or gets a r r a. Okay, I'm going to call those array a and array b. Okay, so int array, array b, that creates a local variable with that name, and that's a variable that can hold a reference to an array. Okay, so the right hand side is array a. So what that means is I get a copy of that remote control. So here I've got a copy of that remote control. And to have it be a copy, that means it's, it references that same array. And then the assignment statement is going to, that's the equal sign. That's going to set array B to be a, a copy of that reference that I got from array A. So here the variable array B gets a copy of the value of the variable array A. This is just like we did with ints. So here array B was getting set to whatever array A was. And to do that, we took a copy of what was in array A and array B got that value. And in the case of a reference, what it means to have a copy is that they reference that same object. And it's important to notice that this didn't create an extra array for us. We didn't somehow magically get a second array. We just have two references to the same array. Okay, my third line of code says array A at index 2 gets the value 99. I'll label my indices, so this is index 0, 1, 2. So to assign a value, I follow the reference from array A, and I say index 0, 1, 2, that's going to get uh, 99. Okay, so that value will change and will be 99. Okay, so whoa, both array and array, array A and array B both references that same array. And so look, I used array A to change that last element to a 99, but I similarly could have used array B. Either one of these remote controls or either one of these variables or either one of these references could be used to change the elements in that array. And say I changed array A to later reference some other array or whatever, it wouldn't change the fact that array B is referencing that same array. Okay, so the big picture is that two references can reference the same int array and both of them can modify the values in that array.